guys, it's me, my reborn, and I am back with another video. Today is Wednesday, October 12th, and it's currently 12.45 p.m. And about 15, 20 something minutes ago, we actually got a tornado warning. And then now, as you guys can hear, it is raining very, very heavily. But I wanted to make this quick video for you all. This video is not going to be long at all. If the rain gets any louder, I'll probably just make a video at a different time. But yeah, we got a tornado warning. We never actually had a tornado touch down in a long, long time. So I'm not worried about it at all. Back here, we did have a basement to go into. When I lived here, we had a basement to go into if anything arised. But here, I don't have a basement. But I know what to do in a situation like this. We had many, many practices. And I'm okay. But anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to make this quick video. And I have Mr. Dior. This is baby Dior. Or Saint. Who you guys know him by. He's still in his Converse outfit. I don't want to take him out of this at all. Like, if a baby looks super cute to me, I just don't want to take him out of the outfit. And I am using my front-facing camera on my phone again, so that's why I'm going to make this video very quickly as it's not too good. But look at him. He looks so cute. Wait, let me see if I can bring him up a little bit so you guys can see the little hair. You guys can't see that. One day, I am going to get it perfectly where you guys can see his painted hair because he does have painted hair. But anyways, I just wanted to do a quick video, and I just wanted to ask you guys how or where do you store you guys as babies at do you have a nursery do you have a room how do you store your babies so uh first collecting when i first started off collecting i had the babies in my room i didn't have many accessories for them but like later down the line i ended up getting a car seat and they'll sleep in a car seat and then i ended up getting a bouncer and they'll sleep in a bouncer but for the most part I had them at the end or the side of my bed. It was usually at the end of my bed, like where I have my feet at, but like in the corner. So I made sure I didn't kick them or anything like that. So either they'll be in the bouncer, car seat, or on my bed. And that's when I first started off collecting. So I didn't have many babies. I had three at the most. And then when I started getting more and more babies, it became a little bit more difficult to store them without a room but back in my sister went to college in 2018 september of 20 or august of 2018 actually and so i ended up getting her room and my babies actually ended up getting my room so they took up the whole bed and then the bouncer and the car seat i moved states in 2020 and that's where it became a little bit of a problem which is why i had to mostly sell a lot of my babies and then actually ended up putting three of them in storage so all i had was zaire originally when i went to arizona and then i had three of my babies in storage and they're actually still in storage uh, right now as we speak and then i got Elena shortly after i moved there so it was only them two and what I did is in the closet, there is a shelf. I put a blanket down and then I had them sit on the shelf on display, kind of. And then I started getting more babies and more babies and even more babies. So I did make room on the shelf for them. And then I ended up getting me another boppy because I had a boppy. And then that's in storage as well. So <laughs> everything's in storage, right? I ended up getting me a bobby, so I store some babies on a bobby. But for the most part, they are on a shelf on display, and I have little baggies over their hair, so their hair they don't lose any hair from like sitting up against the wall. And that's how I have them there. For here, you guys know I have six babies here, and I'm downsizing my collection. I currently have five babies up for sale right now so if anyone's interested i have three budget babies and then i'm also selling my very two rare soda limited edition babies i have serenity by lorley eagles and i have nixon by joanna k both of them are long sold out i have not saw a blank nixon kit but i have seen quite a few serenity blank kits and they have gone up for 400 dollars and more and i'm asking you less than that which is crazy so if you guys are interested in any budget babies or 
any um other babies just go ahead and let me know but anyways here i have them i have a boppy so i have i have one baby sitting on the boppy and then i kind of have because the shelf here has like i don't know how to describe it but it isn't like a shelf that's just like a solid wood or just like a solid shelf it has like little lines in it like wired it's like a wired shelf and so i didn't want them sitting on that so i have a blanket and i have the babies laying on the blanket and then i have this organizer that's made for the closet and i have serenity who is symphony and then i have nixon who is judas i have them in there with i have a blanket laying down on there and then them laying in it and then sometimes from if it's cold in here i'll put the blanket over them and that's how I do it. I have the two silicone babies next to each other because they can touch and the vitamin cannot. And sometimes I will have one of the babies actually sleep with me for the most part. So it's not crowded where they're at at all. And that's how it's going to stay. But when I get back home or go, yeah, when I go back home, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it with all these babies, which is why I'm crossing and hoping that, crossing my fingers and hoping that someone sells so that way I can have enough room for my own personal collection babies instead of the babies that I have listed up for sale. And I am also crossing my fingers, hoping and hoping and hoping I can get a room for the babies, their own nursery. If I can get a room for the babies, by next year that will help me out a lot it would be amazing i already have a bouncer i have three boppies now and i have a car seat for the accessories and if i have a room i'll either get a pack and play or a crib and then i do want to add two more i want to add a swing two more swings and about another bouncer so that would be more than enough room to store the babies at so i'm crossing my fingers that i can get a nursery by next year sometime next year uh rather sooner than later but you know don't want to rush anything but i'm hoping for a nursery um so that was pretty much it and you guys let me know how do you guys store your babies if you have a nursery if you have a room, do you have an area in your room? Do you use the closet? Are they in bins, on shelves? How do you guys store your babies? I just want to know in the comments below. And I, I know other people have been wondering a questioning. I know a lot of people have been moving lately. And so they are downsizing from a full room for their babies to no room at all. And they're like, how should I store them? Should I do this? Should I do that? Do you guys have any tips? So it's always helpful to just talk about these things or to bring them up so other people can get ideas on how to store their babies. I know some people get actually a bookshelf and they store their babies on the bookshelf because it doesn't take up too much room. And you can still see them. They're on display. They're not in harm's way at all. And so that's another great way to store the babies. If I don't happen to get a nursery, by next year, I'm definitely going to do the bookshelf idea and store the babies like that because I think it's a great idea. And it doesn't take up a lot of space at all. Oh, also in a point of time, I, back when I had a basement, when we lived here, I did actually want to make the basement. I had an opportunity to make the basement a room for the babies, but I just didn't want to leave them down there because that was two floors I have to go on because my room was upstairs, so then I have to go downstairs to the main level and then downstairs to the basement those stairs was a lot i was out of breath <laughs> every time i had to do laundry because we had a laundry room in the basement and every time i had to do laundry i was so out of breath i was like oh my gosh these are a lot of stairs but i did in a point of time i had the bouncer down there and then i had like two or three babies down there i made a few videos down there not a lot and not as much as i wanted to but i was like this is not gonna work they can just stay up here so yeah, anyways, go ahead and let me know in the comments below how do you guys store your babies. I would definitely love to know and get any pointers for if I have get a, if I get a nursery or if I don't. I would like to have other ideals and other options on how I can store my babies. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Again, I do currently have five reborn baby dolls for sale right now. So if anyone is interested, you guys can let me know. 
All of my information is always down in the description. So make sure you guys are reading the descriptions. Anyways, if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, you guys can. My Instagram is Maya underscore Reborns. And if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you guys want in the comments, including video requests. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Because wouldn't you just like to see this cute face again? Who don't want to see this cute face again? <laughs> and make sure you guys hit that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. Me and Saint will talk to you guys later. And you guys have a great rest of your day. I will be posting this on Friday. So have a great weekend. Cheers to the weekend. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>